Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, on the 27th of February. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good to see you. All right, good, good. Listen, we did it again. Look at this CODX. Run, baby, run. Look at this bad boy. Killing it, huh? Holy crap, it just topped 14. It just ran to 16. It is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I sent an email to everybody and uh, I got some really good feedback from a lot of you guys trading the stock. And you're probably all depressed right now looking at it like, holy crap, I just sold it. And look where it is. I know a lot of us owned it yesterday right around the $10 price range. But let me tell you, there has to be an ETF on coronavirus stocks. All these farmers. I mean, my list is so damn big. Huge. Look at this. Big. I, you know, last time I remember this happened to us was back, and a lot of you remember this. What was the big thing that happened about a year ago? Two, no, about two years ago. Uh, time flies. But the big thing that happened about uh, back then was the cryptocurrency. Remember the cryptos and blockchains and everyone was coming out with another crypto. This is the new norm for us traders. You know, listen, unfortunately, I, said, I told you this last month when this came out. I says nothing is going to bring this market down, even though we're shoot it down 400 points. I told you this, nothing was going to bring this market down. Everything is looking great other than what we're looking at right now. The only thing that could bring it is a catastrophe. And you know what? I hate to be right. You know, I hate to be right. But you know what? This is our job. We got to focus on it. And very rarely everyone's going to get an opportunity like this. You don't get catastrophes like this, you know, every week. And you know what? Listen, we do it every day. We find a nice little runner here, runner there. But we never, ever get an opportunity to find, you know, that big, big runner up. And like I told you, the last time this ever happened to us was the whole uh, cryptocurrency, you know, run up stuff. But things have been great. Um, we all made money. I know, Grant, you know, it, it, it just really sucks to really like, you know, to kind of talk about it and like brag about it. You know, let me tell you, let me tell you a crazy story. So, uh, and we're going to go through the watch list, but um, I know people right now that are such great entrepreneurs, right? Great entrepreneurs. You know what they did? A friend of mine is uh, very big on Amazon. So you know what he did? He went out and he bought a tractor trailer loader of, of the, uh, the masks, you know, the mask, the, 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 if you go on Amazon right now, you can't even get any of those uh, 3M masks with, with the carbon in them. He says, you know, shoot, he bought them all. I think they paid, I don't think it was like 20000 They sold it all. Um, they're like pretty much the only ones that have it. You can't even get them anymore. They said they made over $200,000 on it already, just on that. So listen, um, it, you know, it happened to us on the financial crisis. You know, a lot of people like, you know, how could you think that? But, you know, this is our job. You know what I mean? If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. But I'm not going to sit here and watch a stock go up literally – um, I don't know, 500% in two days worrying about, you know, catastrophes. Listen, I'll worry about it, but listen, we're here to work. So let's do what we got to do. You got to, you got to think outside the box guys. But anyway, CODX, I don't even think I need to talk about it anymore, but every, but this stock right here, every single one of us killed it, killed it. And this was yesterday. And then this morning, I mean, everyone is just basically just printing money. Wayne, Andrea, Bali, Neil. I mean, I, I could go on and on. All you guys already printed money. And by the way, the big move was at 3:30, though. That's where uh, uh, 8:30. That's realistically where the big uh, big move was uh, this morning. But yesterday, I mean, and between today, list is going on and on and on. Party's not over, guys. The, you know what's even crazy? The market's not even open. It's not even open. So let's go through the watches. Obviously, CODX on the watch list. Uh, TNXP. Only problem I said, like, I wish there was an ETF. If there was an ETF, I'm shocked they didn't come out with a coronavirus ETF. But uh, uh, T uh, TNXP actually moving also pretty nicely. Low, cheap, low stock. Everybody should have got this stock um, at a buck sixty-eight. It was right around here. It was holding him right here, and you know, and now it's starting to break out. Another low, cheap stock. You know what's crazy? The only way I'm able to find out because there's so many of these stocks moving, we're just assuming they're all you know corona stocks. The only way you have to do it is you got to, if you have a new service, like I use Benzinga, I got to look them up and see, are they, I don't even know. I mean, like, is it an ET, is it a, a Corona stock? Is it, not, I don't even know. This is so damn, anyway, everyone is out to race for this thing. This is a global, global 
war against this virus, okay? So these people are doing everything they can to capitalize on it. This is a huge profit right here on this thing, okay? Money is no object. You heard what happened yesterday uh, when President Trump was on. They said they were allocating the Democrats and Republicans are fighting, you know, one says five million. No, 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 you gotta give him nine billion. You know, not five billion. Listen, there's so much money going on right now. Believe me, these companies, whoever comes out with it is gonna be hands down, gonna be loaded, okay? So a lot of money out there. So we got this one, AIM, uh, another one that's moving. I don't think this is a Corona stock, uh, but it is, uh, it looks, but this one's moving too, a 45%, 4.9 million shares. That one looks pretty good. Uh, a H. There's so many damn stocks on this damn list. It's unbelievable. Here's another one. A H P I. Look at this one. There's another one. Buck to five dollars came back down to look where it is now. It's up to seven. All right, and still making new highs. Where I'm at. A P H I. A E D M. Another big mover right here. This stock took a big hit from 450 down to buck 80. Look where it is. Back to 330. Another nice little mover right here on this stock. I don't know. Is it, I think this is the company that makes the masks, or is it the AIM? One of them. One of them makes the masks. I mean, it's just it's just unheard of. Uh, AIM. That's another one right there. VX. VXRT is another one right here. Another big little mover. You got that one right there. Uh, MRNA. That's another one that I found this morning, too. This one is just really popping pretty big, 18 to 27. A little expensive, right? $29 expensive. That sounds pretty weird, but it's really not, you know, <laughs> uh, compared to what we're, we're used to with some of these other stocks, like the uh, like the CODX, right? I guess CDX is really the one that is really coming up with it. Where am I at? I, MRNM. I got a list right here. Oh, NVAX. I didn't think NVAX was in that business, too. NVAX is also... Uh, Got some big move right here. NVAX also uh, making a big move. $4. Look at that. Up to 11 That one's doing pretty well. And uh, and I got some pretty good shorts, by the way. Oh, my God. Some of these shorts. Okay, I got this one right here. My God. Look at this thing. King. This is why you don't hold overnight positions. This is why you don't hold it. Look at this thing. 55 Stock goes to 40 Oh, my God. What do I do? It's at 30 Yeah, sure enough. Look where it is now. 26 And this thing is still look like it's going lower. All right, how much lower could a twenty-six dollar stock go? Twenty-six dollars more. Okay, um, APT, another one right there. This is another uh, looks like another Corona stock. I'm just speculating because why else would you see a stock go jump go from four to twelve, actually to nineteen? Holy crap, unbelievable. Plan, another one right here, getting a little destroyed. Another one uh, looks like it's good. it broke that major support level back in October too. So this one's obviously not doing too well. There is just a shitload of stocks out there to trade today, guys. Listen, but I want to tell everybody one thing. This is the tip of the day, all right? Do not trade more than one stock because what happens, you're in one stock and all of a sudden one's making money, the one's losing money, and you can't, you know, listen, it's hard to drive with, you know, with, with two steering wheels, all right? More or less trying to have two separate, you know, two separate spouses. It doesn't, eventually you're going to get caught and you're going to lose everything. So I look at it, stocks the same way. You know what I mean? So try to stick with one stock and one stock only. If you find that something's moving better than the other, if things a little too speculative, go on some of the other ones. The, the list is just endless, endless. And and the more and listen, the market's not even open up. We're still we're down 450 points. Okay, this is a huge catastrophe. All right. So um, listen, I don't know about you guys too, but I'm in cash. I sold everything. I got out of my mutual funds. I got out of my CSQ. I sold everything. Okay. I I rather, I'd rather pay more. Then, then worry about it. I'm not a big deal. I made so much money this year on my long-term trades. I took a little bit of a hit. I'm not worried about it. I'm still up huge. But the thing is this. If this thing really does get a lot worse, and I told you this was going to happen, okay? Go back to the recordings. Go back to YouTube. Go ahead. I, I talked about this. This looks like the next biggest catastrophe in, in the economy. And, uh, and and I don't see any, you know, uh, any, uh, any, any, uh, recovery anytime soon so let's just try to monetize it all right guys listen bloomberg is still a bummer about the market today they're all they're all of them are all of them are all right but anyway you got what's going on this mo this morning you got the big watch list you see you no know, it's moving making big moves let's go out there and work together like a team guys and listen um you might need to stay a little bit longer you know what i mean because the market if it does move pretty well it looks like we're gonna you know 
you want to monetize as much as possible, all right? Just don't trade too many shares because if you trade a lot of shares, you're going to get pretty shaken out. All right, everybody, good luck today. You got 15 minutes. I want to get you guys to get ready. Let's go out there and make, let's make a lot of money today, all right? And if you didn't buy a stock, remember my ultimate last minute motto. Buy one share. Buy one share. Every single person in this room should have at least do a trade today. And if you didn't, you better buy one share of it. I don't care. Just get off demo mode. Just trade one share. Know what it's like to be in the fun of the game. All right, guys? But one share. That's it. If you haven't traded yet, you're still on demo. Just trade one share. Let me tell you. Ego, uh, it, it, the, the, the psychology change is totally different. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. Let's make some money. Rich just made about 20 cents on the TNXP. Good job, buddy. That's what I want to hear. Congratulations. All right. Good luck, everyone. We'll start commentating about an uh, about the 15 minutes.